In this video, we'll be discussing about the Fox P2 gene or protein and its association with speech. This Fox P gene is also termed as Fox head box gene that gives a different kind of Fox proteins and these proteins have the Fox head like structures as depicted in the diagram. The loops of the domain has butterfly like appearance. That's why it's also known as winged legs. And it's this fork head domain that binds DNA and drives the transcription of different genes. Now if we break down its structure, it has got 80 to 100 amino acids forming a motif that binds to DNA. It has got polyglutamine tract, zinc finger, leucine zipper motif and fork head box DNA binding domain. Now let's see some basic functions of FOXP2 protein. First of all, we see it aids in the proper development of brain regions that are associated with speech and language development. Like we have two important regions here. First one is the basal ganglia region, specifically the putamen region. And second region is the inferior frontal cortex, specifically the Broca's area. Second involvement of FOXP2 protein is in the lung development and it also aids in equalization of bats, song development and learning in birds and pattern learning in mice. So these are the basic functions related to FOXP2 protein. But we are more concerned about FOXP2 protein being involved in speech development. So here we go, the FOXP2 protein and speech association. We know it's the mutations of FOXP2 gene that leads to speech disorders what we call as developmental verbal dyspraxia. And this kind of disorder was first discovered in British KE family. In this disorder, the children have problem in speaking. The brain actually has problem planning to move the body parts needed for speech. So a motor coordination for speech is disrupted in DVD disorder. We see when KE family was analyzed for DNA sequencing, the affected persons revealed that speech disorders were caused by the FOXP2 gene mutation located on chromosome number 7 at position Q31. Now let's see these mutations of FOXP2 gene and its effect on brain that leads to speech disorders. Here we see first of all we have the R553H. It's the missense mutation in DNA binding domain of FOXP2 protein. Here arginine to histidine substitution takes place. Then we have the R328X mutation. It is the nonsense heterozygous mutation. This mutation yields stop codon at 328 position for Fox protein, leading to early termination of translation that truncates the protein. Both of these mutations leads to less expression of Fox P2 gene in putamen area and Broca's area that develops the speech disorders. If we see basal ganglia, particularly the putamen area, it is associated with motor movements during speech. So mutation disrupts this process. Secondly, we have the Broca's area located in the inferior frontal gyrus. That's also associated with motor speech development. And this mutation also affects this process too. So all in all, both of these areas of brain associated with the speech gets disrupted when we talk about the FOXP2 gene mutation that leads to these speech disorders like developmental verbal dyspraxia or childhood apraxia of speech. So this is all about FOXP2 gene and its association with speech disorders. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.